think it's helpful for people who are less confident in math to get that sort of instant feedback that they would get in my classroom. So they're working, they're working with their peers in groups, which is sort of, you know, hopefully a safe place to say things and be wrong and not worry about it too much. But also, you know, find out right away if you're on the right track or not, either by being sort of um, corrected by your students or maybe by bringing me over and saying, hey, this is what I'm thinking, does this sound right? And I can kind of guide them in the right direction if they're not quite in the right direction. And so they can get that sort of instant course correction and not go down the wrong path of thinking that they could do if they're just working on their own somewhere in their dorm room and not, not having that community around them that's all working on the same material together. And I think proofs are something that you really just need to practice a lot. It, it's not it doesn't come naturally to a lot of people. It's, it's, in fact, can be a pretty steep learning curve for a lot of students. And so, you know, getting a lot of practice, which you do in my class because there are a lot of things to be proved, but also um, going through that process of presenting your theorems and getting that instant feedback from your peers is really helpful. Part of the challenge of writing a proof is not so much whether or not you're correct about the math, but are you writing it in a clear and concise way that someone else who's not standing next to you could read and understand without you then explaining it to them. I mean, it should be a complete argument in and of itself that makes sense, that doesn't skip any steps, that sort of goes clearly and logically one from one step to the next to get, it, get to the conclusion that you're trying to prove. And if you write something down and it, no one else understands it, then it's not a good proof. And so um, by doing the sort of the critique that we do in class, they can understand, they can, they can understand how to refine their writing. My class is, it's a 300 level course, so they've already taken the calculus sequence and they've maybe already taken linear algebra, but maybe not much higher level than that. And so sort of getting to the point where you have to write proofs is really kind of a rite of passage for, for undergraduate math majors. You, it's sort of a, a hurdle you need to get through to really see the beauty of all the stuff that comes up above calculus. There's so much of a focus on getting through calculus in high school or getting to the point where you can study calculus and then knowing calculus, you think that's all there is. And that's really just a very small part of what there is in math. It's the part that is most useful for engineers and other scientists. And so that's sort of why it's taught. But in terms of mathematicians, it's really only one area of the much broader realm of things that you can study in math. Realm of